Okay, let's continue on and do some more uh, integrals. And we're gonna slowly crank up the complexity. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna methodically build our skills to do these double integrals, okay? So that is your integral. You have a function of two variables, okay? And you're integrating over a region R that's defined by this information up here. Now, if you wanted to figure out what that actually looked, a lot, looked like, and in the beginning I do actually very much recommend that you do that, this is the xy plane. You're looking down on the xy plane. Your function, which is right here, is hovering over the xy plane. Okay, it's a three-dimensional sort of construct, and you have defined, with the limits of integration here, you've defined some region R in the xy plane that you plan to integrate over. Okay, and so let's figure out what that looks like. You're integrating along y first from zero to one. So this is y is equal to zero. That function is just a horizontal line. y is equal to one is another horizontal line, which goes like this. And then along x, you're integrating from the point zero up to the point one. So this is your region R, okay? You're going from uh, y is equal to zero, which is a function that's a horizontal line up to y is equal to one, and then x is equal to zero to x is equal to one. So you're, you're just evaluating over that region R. You're evaluating this integral over this region R. You're evaluating this function and integrating it and adding up all those little skyscrapers, etc., over the region R. Okay, so what do we do next? I literally do this on my paper. I'm going to work on this integral first, which is going to be the integral of 0 to 1, e to the x plus y, dy. I'm only integrating along y, okay? Now, I don't like having an x plus y up in the top because, you know, what, I'm, what I've said here is because I'm integrating along y, x is a constant, okay? I'm integrating in this direction first, so x is a constant. It doesn't matter. So this could be 2 plus y or 3 plus y or whatever. Uh, but I don't really know, uh, maybe you guys do, but I don't really know off the top of my head what that looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick substitution. u is equal to x plus y because I want to get this x, this uh, function in terms of e to the u, something I know how to integrate, okay? Uh, du with respect to y, because that's what I'm integrating with respect to, is just going to equal 1, right? Because if I take the derivative with respect to y, that I'm holding x constant, and so the derivative is going to be 1, so uh, d uh, u is equal to dy. Now, why did I do all of this? Because I'm going to rewrite this integral, okay, as the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the u now, because I've defined it like this, dy, but dy is equal to du, okay? dy is equal to du. So that's going to be equal to e to the u, that's the integration, evaluated from 0 to 1. But I don't want to do this evaluation yet because I've got my uh, variable of substitution tied up and I've got a different limits of integration, which is in terms of y. So let's go ahead and substitute back in e to the x plus y evaluated from 0 to 1. Now, if you know how to integrate this without doing this, that's fine. I just like to do it myself because I like to see how my exponentials are before I actually do the integration. Now, when I plug in the limits of integration here, I'm only plugging in for the variable y because that's what I integrated across. So, plugging in for the top, it's going to be e to the x plus 1 minus e to the uh, x uh, plus 0, so to speak. So, basically what I'm going to have here is e to the x plus 1 minus e to the x. That is going to be uh, the value of, of the uh, first integral here in the middle. And then now I'm going to take that result that I just got and I'm going to integrate along dx. Okay? So taking this and continuing on, I'm going to have the integral from 0 to 1 because of this is 0 to 1. And I'm going to integrate the result which was e to the x plus 1 minus e to the x along now dx. So I've already done my integration along y, now I'm doing my integration along x. Now it becomes a regular old uh, integral. It becomes a regular integration. And now that I've done an integral of this form, I know that this integral, integral of e to the x plus 1, is simply e to the x plus 1. That's the answer to that integral. And the integral here is just e to the x, and I can evaluate it from 0 to 1. So I just integrated both of them. Okay, and when I plug in for the top, I'm going to have e to the 1 plus 1 minus e to the 1 minus e to the 0 plus 1 minus e to the 0. Okay, so here I'm going to have 
e squared minus e, and then here I'm going to have minus e plus 1. So I'm going to have e squared minus 2e plus 1 e squared minus 2e plus 1. That is the answer to the double integral. So I had a, a function of two variables. I defined a region in the xy plane given by the limits of integration here. I integrated along y first from this line here up to this line, and then I integrated along x from this line to this line. That defined a region r. I integrated over here. I just integrated the, uh, along dy first, holding x constant. I did this integral with a little bit of substitution. When I plugged in the limits of integration, I did it only by plugging into y because I was holding x constant the whole time. I took the result, integrated it again along dx, and then that's just a regular integral that falls out from your calculus one, and that's how you get the answer to that.